Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I would uh, get busy on this base again. I did have a bit of a mishap though. I uh, started working on it and thought I was recording, realized I wasn't recording. So I did do some work to the base uh, that isn't recorded. And then you can probably see some differences here. I did, uh, what I did work on is I sort of textured around a doorway. I added some blocks around the uh, the base to lift this up one block from the uh off the the ground and try to use uh not a lot of blocks to do it with um and uh added these uh i think i already mentioned that added these red stripes here um i wanted to cover a couple questions and comments so one was uh uh absolutely correct and at the the time here let me uh, remove some blocks here uh it, the staircases were visible here which would not have sealed the oxygen um, so what I uh, started out the video with is I added a couple blocks in front of this and then tested the oxygen. So um, now these blocks can go up and above the uh, the grow plots over here. You got to have that center one with a full two block height, but the rest of them do not need to be two block height above it. So let me put those blocks back in there for now. And then basically what I did is I put some O2 in the building and then I went over to debug here and to confirm we do have oxygen in this room i did make another change here too um and i uh changed changed the uh the glass from uh flat glass going across to angled glass and i also did a little bit of block work or started doing some block work inside of the hangar area here uh just going across the ceiling it basically it needs a solid row of concrete blocks up, uh, below the solar panels um, and then I replaced some of these solar panels so that not the airtight versions. I was trying to make it a little bit prettier inside where the staircases would be. You're going to have this open gap here, but uh, I'll try to darken that out. Um, I think I did actually on this side a little bit more, so you d it won't look ho hopefully too bad. And then I just started working on the uh, the ceiling, and that's when I discovered that uh, unfortunately um, I wasn't recording. So. Apologize for that. I was trying to keep this whole base uh, being recorded when I was building it. So anyway, from basically not a whole lot was done since the last time, but yeah, some texture uh, trim around there, added some legs around there, fixed uh, an O2 problem in the farm section, replaced some some glass, and put in some new some new blocks in the interior, and that's uh, pretty much all that uh, has taken place so far. I did also copy paste that textured doorway to the other side of the base, so that's why this one's kind of textured too. Um, there are some flaws in here though, so uh, let me uh, fix that up a little bit real quick here. And try to get it to the right setting here with the tool there, okay. So anyway, continuing on, I was, um, I was a little bit annoyed because this is built of concrete for the, uh, and the concrete textures are quite limited. So that was annoying. Um, and this took way too long to texture this little area here. And I was just trying to figure out what to do with these concrete blocks. And there's very few textures that can match metal in the concrete, uh, texture set basically. So anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, let's dive into the inside here and keep on working on out the uh, the interior of this. So what I've done so far is built this little chunk of uh, uh, concrete blocks above here. Obviously, they're all about sealing underneath the solar panels. As in hit points, you're looking at some of these, and they're, and they're pretty thin blocks. Um, just to know, a, uh, a full steel block is 800 hit points. A thin or let's go to the thinnest like this one here um, concrete block this is that really that's a wedge shape uh, thin block that just kind of goes to the ceiling here it's 781 hit points so honestly despite being not even close to a full block it's it's virtually the the same hit points as a full steel block uh, so concrete is just a better texture to, or a better material to use for bases versus hit points and cost than, than even steel is. Um, uh, the big side effect with concrete is the textures available and that's where I'm really having problems with. So anyway, back into the base. Let's try to let's try to work out like this wall and maybe the rest of the ceiling and do some some texturing in here as well. 
so obviously this is completely untextured yet uh, this might be uh, able to be copied and pasted to the other side and that's kind of the same thing I did with the, the hangar door area there's certain parts of the base that can be repeated and uh, I'll try to capitalize on as much of that as I can here but to start with let's uh, let's get into some textures now one other thing I did do on the on the video that was not recorded was I uh, I took in the human color palette and I added one more darker tone of color to it so I I took the color palette off at MX6 and put it onto the base so I've got like the standard colors that I'd use for the humans at least uh, at this generation of the humans um, it, their their texture scheme has changed a few times over, over time so now I got to figure out a, uh, a format of texturing this stuff here and I'm trying to go with this this light and dark kind of theme and I tell you what dealing with concrete textures is nightmarish um, so that is a uh, another problem in itself is there's very few textures that can work very well with uh, the kind of build that I'm trying to do or the, the faction that I'm trying to do it for um, so you can see the radical difference in coloring between using like a concrete texture and a non-concrete texture um, and I keep on using this texture because like one of the few in the concrete textures that actually colors properly and doesn't have uh, other issues going on with it so my scheme inside of here is I'm gonna try to go white and then dark um, and kind of make beams coming across here so again textures are a pain in the butt on this base um, due to the choice of building it out of concrete um, and I knew that was gonna be a problem I forgot how big of a problem that actually is but uh, if you work it enough sometimes you can find solutions that sort of work and that's kind of what I've been trying to do um, but there's again I'm trying to keep this looking metal like and um, not many uh, textures I can use with it now I've also haven't been replacing a whole lot of textures or uh, blocks with steel blocks I'm trying to keep the the cost down on the base because it's a uh, supposed to be all about being a functional base and that's kind of where I want to keep it uh, except you know like what do you text texture have this stuff with is is the real problem I can use the carpet texture though on a lot of these little seams there which is uh, something that sort of works and uh, I don't know I'll just shut up and I'll just keep on texturing <laughs> it's uh yeah building stuff out of concrete trying to make it look like it's uh, going with uh, like it metal is uh, is problematic it's always been problematic uh, but you know if you play and fiddle with it enough you can sometimes find some kind of solution to have it not look so bad um, big point though would be it would be really really amazingly awesome if um, the whole texture setup was uh, basically redone in the in the game where just give all the textures available to all the different materials and call it a day that would be um, that'd be a really nice thing actually at this point um, since they don't really jive anyway it doesn't really make sense that I can paint concrete with these metal textures but not the rest of them um, stuff like that so there's there's a lot of uh, weird weird things going on with it and I uh, some of these like you know I want to have some detail with textures in here but there's like only like two or three textures I can use on this base that actually paint correctly to go with everything else and that's where I'm getting way too much uh, re repeating of some of these in here um, and I'm trying to find solutions for that put something else in its place in various areas to try to make it not so severe at least and that's uh, but some of these like I don't I have no idea what can be really done with this here I guess well, yeah I don't like the white lines there I was trying to keep this all kind of blacked out and this texture is mostly worthless because I mean it's a texture that's obviously meant to um, you know run one direction but it it literally doesn't line up the texture properly uh, to do that with so 
I did have a lot of problems with uh, my uh, unrecorded video as well with all these same things. So I'll just kind of bring some of those forward. It'd be really nice if some of this stuff was addressed someday, but I'm not going to hold my breath. And yeah, it's just like nothing I really do here really looks very good. Oh, let's keep that. So, uh, yeah, challenging build. Um, and not so much because of its complexity. It's a pretty non-complex build, but um, the texturing on it is a nightmare. And that is the big problem I've got with it. I'm also trying to like put in some grays and some accent colors and some other things too. Um, but a lot of it's been experimenting with different textures to see if like any of these things can look all right or not. Um, what I ultimately want is just like a smooth metal texture in the concrete realm that doesn't exist and that just throws everything for a loop. Um, so I, I all I can really do is keep on repeating these same textures over and over and over again so we got cargo extensions everywhere or <laughs> cargo looking boxes everywhere um, just trying to come up with something over here that can look all right I'm not even gonna be, be too picky anymore I don't want the white lines there. See, a lot of the textures um, you deal with, too, they have certain areas of the textures that just cannot be repainted. They're either, uh, if they're, like, light, uh, they're going to stay light no matter what color you paint them. Um, and if you don't want that, then well, you got to pick a different texture. But then there's hardly any textures that work. Uh, so you're just kind of at a, at a loss. I, maybe that can work though. I guess you know once you get some lighting in the base, two things will change a little bit, and it probably won't look as weird as it does now. But what I'm trying to do is just uh, take this one chunk of blocks and paint it where I'm happy with it, um, and uh, that's really hard to do. Uh, the whole happy part of it, um, dealing with concrete and trying to go for this theme, that is where things really just fall apart just don't know what to put over these textures so it's a lot of just experimenting trying to see if anything can kind of work with something else somehow um, other textures like this one looks like it could be a nice shape maybe to use but fortunately you can't paint this a different color I mean it doesn't matter what I pick for it it's gonna be that color uh, so that's kind of a, a bunk texture as well um, a lot of them are a lot of these are horrible um shouldn't be in the game at all should have uh they should have made uh textures that actually work with the game um but they i don't think had any form of anybody on their team that knew how to make textures and that's why we have these uh generic freebies off the internet and that's what they are you can find all these in freebie sites i've seen some of them are already there um and they, and they weren't made for the game. They don't work with the game well, but that's all the game has. I don't know what to do with that. I guess um, we already got some vents there. That was the only vent available. Could try. Is that getting too lighty, though? That's just getting too many uh, texture lights in a, in a small area. Maybe just go with some of that. I'm not going to like anything that comes out, though, because it's like I, I want to paint it with different textures than what I'm painting it with. But uh, I also don't want to replace the material to steel because these have more hit points and are technically cheaper. And the base is about, uh, supposed to be about the function and not the, uh, the appearance so much. But, of course, I want to get it to look as nice as I can figure out how to do. But I just gotta, you gotta kind of lower your standards. Um, now all this could be uh, fixed if the uh, the whole method of texturing in the game itself could be altered uh, to just open up 
the uh, the textures for everything. Um, all the all the all the materials get all the same textures and all of them, um, and then you could do so much more. That would be quite inspiring, actually. I would actually uh, might even work on a different kind of Diablo Diablo like faction uh, that cannot be done now, besides on a base, um, which isn't going to cut it if you're going to make a faction. They got to have more than just a base. Uh, you can't use any of the textures on anything that moves, so that's why it just can't work. Just trying things. Just trying to add detail here. I don't like it, though. I don't even like those stripes and stuff that I did here. That's not really doing it any justice either. So we're going we're gonna to undo some of this here. Before I copy this, so I just wanted to make it, make these areas look as best as I can figure out how to do. But, man, I can't figure out how to texture any of this stuff. Um... Make it look okay. I could try to embrace some of the concrete textures themselves here. But even those have white line syndromes and problems. This one's alright, but... Does it match? I guess, I don't know, maybe good enough. I kind of like it better than the, the more lines over the this area here. Uh, what about the, the shade of that? Can we uh, change the color a little bit here? Brighten it up a bit. Something like that. Not super happy with it, but... How about a line? How about a uh, some kind of texture line here? And... Uh, on the inside of these beams going across the top here and everything's just trying to get some detail into here um, see what can be done god I don't like that I still don't like that texture in there it doesn't fit very well with anything but man I cannot find anything else to texture with just nothing. Um, I could try just straight up carpet again. Keep it. And it's probably a little bit better. It doesn't look so crude. It's not supposed to look crude. What if, maybe that one was lighter. Then I got way too much of this texture on here too. What's kind of neat, though, is uh, this row is uh, flat, so I can put sensors and I can put lights on this particular middle row because it's got a solid block of concrete above it where all the other rows are kind of, uh, it comes down from there. And I had to do this to seal off the, uh, the solar panels. So that is why that is uh, the way it is. Um, but I tell you what, texturing this is a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Okay, so we don't want to texture that. We're just going to go with this one here since I'm going to repeat this pattern a little bit. I just, uh, it's not how I want it. But, you know, it's a ceiling. And once you get lighting in here, you're not going to see it much. And maybe, maybe some other things could bring it forward a little bit. So I'll tell you what, let's just copy a uh, part of this for now. And, um,. What I wanted to do is copy it from about there and to this. Let's go to this beam here. Okay, so we'll copy paste. Let's move that to here. Paste it in. Okay, so that's. Uh, and I've been uh, setting up these beams to align with the glass that's already in place. So once I get to that point, what I will do is I'll. Copy this again, and we'll uh, move it on to the other side of the base. Uh, yeah, actually right there. And paste it. Do another copy, another paste. 
bring it to here. Okay. So I'm missing a row on the edge there, which is not a big deal. But that is most of the ceiling in the center of the hangar, at least. And this other section here, let's just do something completely different on. Now, this, now this needs to be concrete as well to make all this work out. But uh, let's try to do some kind of tank thing here or something again. But it's got to be... It's got to be full. It's got to have a full layer on the top. It cannot be partial. So something like this can work. It's going to hang down a little bit low, though. It's all right, though. All right. So let's try this. Uh, let's go with, like, four of these. And that uh, seals the top. And then we can put some little trimmy things or trim blocks on the uh, the other side here in the, in the middle. Kind of like what was already going on over there. This is that block I was looking at before that actually has 784 hit points to it, uh, despite being very, very small. So that's our center point, and that'll give us a little bit of a fluctuation here in the hangar, but uh, it's still only one block down, doesn't have anything uh, hanging down below that to disrupt things parking in here, although it'd be really nice to put a, a decoration piece there. All right, so let's just fill this part in the same as what's going on there in the center. It is using this texture, no, this texture, but in this color. Looks like I missed that all the way, all the way along there. Yeah, let's paint these up. Um, let's try to get a little color in here. This something. Um, that work? Kind of. Yeah, sort of. At least the color comes through on it. Alright, so that's not so bad. Very limited options, though. Um, that's uh, kind of why I hate, um... Well, I'll at least try to do a human creation with concrete or any of the factions that I've really got with just concrete is uh, problematic. Scar, probably the easiest. Um, but, uh, yeah, these, uh, these can be a real pain in the butt to work with, that's for sure. So we got that row. Now this row, how I wanted to do this, I'm trying to do uh, blacks and whites, um, kind of mix them, mix and match them a little bit. Maybe the blacks aren't quite dark enough right now either. That could be another problem. But uh, this row here, this is going to be kind of neat because you've got all this going on here. And then you got this other barrier here. So the idea I wanted to do is to have this dark this whole layer, and I can actually use metal textures here, which is wonderful. Oh man, how I miss them. Um, <laughs> uh, so, clean up some of the jagging line things. So we got a nice little line there, and then this could be uh, just straight up our base, our base color, uh, just the default color here. And let's try to coordinate some texture lights. Uh, maybe above the constructor, or not the constructors, the uh, cargo extensions, or cargo controllers. That's it. Maybe like there. Um, let's get some metal textures in here. We'll paint it first with a lot of this, and then we'll get rid of probably half of them or more. Let's see if some of these line up. That one and some of these messed up ones. 
and that'll leave a couple lines in there, which is exactly what I wanted. All right, so we got that. So now I've got the uh, top, the upper, and the lower part of this. Let's experiment with some more accent color. What if these were done in a uh, this kind of off red, burnt red, or whatever uh, color? Right across the top and the bottom of it. Oops. Okay, and then here I want to black out the uh, the ceiling as much as I can in these uh, constructor areas. Let's get rid of a lot of constructors too. One other, uh, some other comments that uh, uh, one was talking about uh, not having uh, deconstructors and. Um, one thing on, on this base is, is not going to come stock with, uh, all these constructors in place. In fact, a lot of these are just placeholders, so you can put whatever you want in there. If you want, you know, a couple of deconstructors, that's fine. You can put in some constructors and deconstructors. So I just wanted to clarify that too. It's, uh, they're both the same size. So when you, you build these bays, either, either can fit there just the same. So I'm going to fill in some stuff here now. Occasionally, there's parts like over here that's got some like room in it in between some of these uh, cargo extensions, and it's like I I kind of want to fill them in, but at the same time, maybe you know like this could hold like a fuel tank or something in here if I if you really wanted to put it in there. Um, it's just as buried is the only thing. I don't know. I'll tell you what. I'll fill them in for now. These can be removed. A little later. There's a lot of room that I'm filling in over here, though. But kind of necessary when you have layers of cargo extensions near each other. They can't touch each other because you're on different controllers. Okay. We'll leave. I'll think about maybe putting more utility function in there at some point. All right, so let's make a, let's do up one of these bays here. So the bays, I'm thinking white walls, maybe. Yeah, white white walls here, dark on the floor and the back wall and the ceiling. Um, and I think I can use whatever textures here uh normal textures not the well not entirely though that back wall has to be the concrete there oh and i wanted these white let's paint all this in here and on the bottom okay this is concrete here so let maybe put a strip oh but that Oh, yeah, it does have that texture. Okay. Okay, so let's just go right across and do all these at once. Save a little time. Except for that one. And we'll switch it over here on that one. And, oh, no, that's a different one yet. Okay, let's... Um, Let's take a look at the texture in here. Can we do anything that makes... You can barely see it because there's cargo boxes here. You can kind of see the edge of this one. I'm just kind of curious if there's a texture that could be put over that edge that could look nice, like a, uh, some kind of trim or something. Um, from the top side. Like, that puts a little line there. That's one option. Um else could go there that would look pretty bad I think I don't like that I want something that goes straight across could go with this again but that gets awfully boring that was just kind of a pretty crappy texture there <laughs> um, now there's nothing really else is there not really. Nothing that really fits the bill for this. Uh, all right. 
I guess I'm just going to go with these again. Um, I know that actually works out and they color properly, which is something to be said. So this back row, I think, can be painted with regular old textures, which is just wonderful. Or, no, no, it can't. Well, okay, we'll just go with this. I was going to put the uh, this other kind of texture there, but uh, you can't do those over the cargo extensions. Uh, so... some of the maybe leave a one or so here and there the jagged lines one like that let's fix up some of these up with this it shows this but it doesn't oh I know it's it's set I have no idea why it's not working I guess I can't uh. Uh. so I guess the texture tool broke on me it's been you know in dire shape for good six months now but um let's just try to reset it and pick can it work no let's get rid of the color can you can you paint it without the color no why can't we paint this oh it's grow plots okay so that's not ah i get it i get it that is grow plots i can't change the texture on that okay so we can only color them I guess we'll just do that then. All right, so the side pieces here. Let's go with some base color whites. Up. A lot of cleanup. There's only a few of these patterns that I'll keep. Um, most of them, like maybe that single line I'll keep because it, it's a single line, but a lot of these I will get rid of all the, all the lines. Okay, and then... Uh, now we're going to have uh, an LCD either over this part or over this part. I'm not exactly sure yet, but let's put something here that can look at least all right for now. I don't know if I want more texture lights, so I could try to use an alternative texture. Or something. I 
I'm not sure what. Uh, it's not horrid. Well, maybe, maybe let's go with old school, something like that for now. Oh yeah, this needs to be figured out. So that looks all right. Um, now we got con constructors or deconstructors going in this area, so we want to label them. And um, I want to see if I can do a little bit more with the lighting on the top here, one way or another. Maybe uh, put a couple of those. They are in kind of a formation, and uh, the red would go with the red. A little, little unique there, so let's put in some decals here. Oops. Let's get rid of the color. And I'll first put in these. letters in here so I'll just go standard uh, I'll put a C there and a D here so constructor or deconstructor and a couple more lines here and I miss this one So we've got our slots for those. All starting to look a little bit better here. Um, got to do something with this. This is a piece that really sticks out here. We kind of need to get some lights here as well. Now the human normally you, uh, deal with white lights uh, or white or yellow. Well, yellow used to be their, their way to go, but I'm going to try to go with so it's just some a random white lights in here and then uh, let's pick out some kind of know, some kind of texture that could maybe work there maybe I'll change some of them though oops how about these middle ones we'll do something else with the vent there and there blacked out back over here um, so just use something like that there and might as well do the other side too actually there's nothing really visible there at the time all right this part here I tell you what I really want to do I'll put them there for now but this would be hanging down kind of a block more than I would like it to, but it fits and would make it look entirely better than what's there. A couple of those things could even, uh, I don't know, I don't mind them actually with the, the silver, the, the gray, and then the red. It kind of works out all right. And let's do one other thing. Let's put a, another decal in this section here. that you may or may not ever see. And you know, honestly, we could do that on this area right across the top. I don't know if I want the one on the back now, but uh, okay, so that's starting to look more refined at least let's paint in some of the floor pieces here I think for the most part I can use that texture for this oh except for the corners 
All right, well, that's going to be a path going in there. What does it look like on the other side? About the same. Okay, so now here, let's, um, let's try to work on a little bit of the hangar floor texturing as well. How about in the corners of the hangar? We'll put in that. And since it's human, I kind of go with their normal scheme of having uh, some of these in place. But I'm going to try to organize these according to where the uh, the uh, the boxes are here. So it's kind of in a formation. And then let's put in, say, like that on the insides. And a crust. How about one here and one here? One in the middle. Oh, that's not right. What's wrong here? Oh, this is coming out one row forward here. Oops. All right. Let's try to uh, make that work. happening there all right so three nope, four just kind of mimicking the pattern on the other side there oh I won't have to put the, the right texture light here uh, all right. Okay, so let's do a tint change. Let's go from dark, maybe, uh, let's do a strip in here. That is, uh, just a tone up. Back to dark, and God, that's really skinny. Um, I wanted to put like some kind of like little track thing or something going down the middle, just again to try to add a little bit of a little bit more detail to it somehow. Maybe a different texture too. floor and then decals kind of a skinny area here there's obviously more room off to the one side but not too wide Some of this could be done in symmetry too, but there's so many symmetry problems that it doesn't seem to save time doing decals especially. All right, and let's add in some little marks here or something too on those. And maybe I should divide this pattern up a little bit here too. So those start at these boxes so let's just kind of make that a formation and we'll put in let's see that there here okay and then we can add in some more of these and 
then I think what I'm going to do is pull that alternative texture in the center areas just in these spots here. Alright, a little hard to see what it's going to look like right now um, until we get the lighting in here. In fact, let's, uh, yeah, I don't know how long this video is going. I got to get, get a little carried away sometimes, but, um, okay, so we've got this wall established, sort of, except for uh, a couple more uh, things. Um, let's see, are we flipped the right way? We're flipped the right way. Okay, so let's get some kind of light here. Maybe uh, something a little different than the other lights. So maybe that. And then, uh, I don't know, something on the bottom here. Maybe that fits. Okay. But keep in mind, there's going to be LCDs. Uh, so that'll add in a little bit of visuals. Um, all right, so lighting. Let me uh, alter the, the light right now. So at least we're a little darker. <clears throat> And, uh, okay, so we've got a nice uh, location anywhere in the center, or pretty much uh, on the center of the hangar. Great place for lights and sensors. Uh, there's not a lot of locations to add good lighting. I need to light up the sides of the hangar. Um, so what I'm going to do is do this a little differently. I'm going to get some directional lights, uh, like this one here. This ain't going to look pretty on the ceiling. But, I think it'll be more effective here. So, it seems like I've got this set to something already. Somehow. Okay, not sure I did that. So, let's uh, take down the angle. We'll keep the, uh, the intensity at 2. The, that at that length. And we can put 1. No, let's, let's narrow, narrow it down a little bit. So spotlight angle, let's take it down to sub 90. So let's, let's just say 80 for now and see what happens. Yeah, because we're going to have another one here. And then here and here. Um, okay, so let's go full dark. Just want to see how the light is uh, shining across these areas here. Right enough, should I try to go to intensity of three? Normally, I, I like to avoid it because it makes things, or potentially can make things really glary um, going to a uh, three. But what I'm trying to look at is the ground floor shadows. I'm trying to make like these circles stand out a little bit better so you get the difference between the, uh, the darks and the lights a little more profound and that is mainly adjusting the spotlight angle here so let's try 70 with it instead you can kind of see how the light is more focused here where the other ones get the light is coming out more towards the center which I think that actually is an improvement so uh, I could go to every one of these lights and reset the settings but it's going to remember the last light that you did so it's just quicker to replace them. Okay, so now we've got some, and that's all intensity three two. Maybe I'll try it with this base. Uh, again, it was used to be a thing where I don't like intensity of three, but okay. So now also on the ceiling, what I want to establish now is some ambient light. Um, so this is like your areas you're trying to light up. Um, and the other is going to is uh, the other lights are meant to just kind of give it a, a bit of ambience. Um, and that's going to be a bit of a problem too. Let's put one here and let's set this one differently. So what I'm going to do is we're take it off spotlight mode. I'm going to lower the intensity down to one. Um, I'm not sure if I should mess with the color. Let's try let's try a gray light though. Let's see what that looks like. And what that's going to do is kind of light up the area a little bit around here. In some cases, that can make things look nicer. In other cases, it can make it look worse, too. So it depends on a lot of things. But um, put like that on that side. You can kind of see the difference with that on or off. It, you can see the hangar door better. But I'm not sure if this is the right color I want. 
Let's try uh, maybe even an orange. trying to avoid the uh, the same blue that I had there give it a little something different now I could also uh, lower the radius on this could try to go with more of a red too but then that's gonna probably start looking more like the Imperial faction that's kind of uh, one of their things the humans are typically dealing with the orange for their caution kind of lighting Uh, it's all right for now. So uh, I guess uh, let's pop in some parts here again. Um, I think they're out here somewhere. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I can never find anything over there. So, um, all right. So let's put in. Just for the, the sake of placeholders, I'm going to put in four advanced constructors, and then we will put in a couple key constructors over here. This is uh, partially, I kind of want to put it in all the parts and then figure out, you know, where the CPU is going to be at. What, what can I remove to get it to a particular bracket that I can fit in easy, easily enough to uh, reduce the overall cost of the, uh, the creation and not have to uh, force players to really uh, go crazy with um, a lot of advanced CPU cores and things like that. So one thing I'm going to do here, this needs to be copied to there okay and you know what you know what this could use to I think is um, more lines <laughs> You got so little you could do with a you know a flat floor area that it's just like I, I, I you know there's a lot of detail to be had on the floor and ceiling of creations and um, I try to utilize that and a lot of times you got to do these kinds of things which I'm not like a super big fan of but you know what else are you gonna do <laughs> so now we got a couple lines down the middle of the floor. Um, and actually, yeah, they'd probably have a location somewhere in this area to put a optional repair bay, but there's going to be one on the roof too, which I think would be, probably be more useful. And also, uh, let's have some fun with the uh, box colors a little bit here too. Let's uh, paint some of them. I don't know, should they all be red or should I just uh, go with random, random other shades for these things? I don't know. That would be weird if they weren't in formation though, wouldn't it? About, about the center ones are red and the outer ones are grays. This is kind of neat though. I, I kind of like the idea of boxes like right here. So you're going to be like walking around this area of the base and you're doing your thing, but you got your little storage boxes right here, kind of right below your feet. Um, in the center over here, this is one area. I kind of wanted to just finish up this wall in the video and call this video here. But... Um, Let's do something here. Now we've got a spot. We got a spot where we can put something useful in there. Um, what would be useful around this side of the base? Now the other side of the base is going to have uh, your armor repair and armor locker and your med bay and the furnaces and shield access. Uh, probably ATM over there as well. Um, that's something I wanted to get in. But you know what? The ATM is unique. Let's put the ATM right right here right in the middle because why not so let's put an ATM in and let's try to give it some backing something going on here let's even go with a red um, and put something up above there oh, it's a cargo extension all right I mean like that and let's paint the ATM 
that, and how about, can we give it some kind of backing decal, not anything, anything at all. Yay, okay, there we go. All right, so we got a little bit on the top here, too. Um, maybe a decorative piece there. Uh, maybe something something of decoration origin. Or, or, how about, oh, I already had some of those out, too. Again, I can't find anything in that list over there, so I, it's easier grabbing it from the menu than it is over there. Um, so I usually do it that way just to save a little time let's try to put one of these in you know what after I said that I got a better idea how about uh, consoles uh, these new consoles that you can color um, their displays are pretty cool I like those and we'll add in another light without having to place a light here So we got that, and let's paint this. Uh, God, what color do we want it? What color should be the, the console displays be in this base? That tone, eh, about red origin. Probably looks a little bit better. Oh, you know what? I didn't even realize there's two of these, isn't there? Huh. there and okay rather than a console we can put some other part over here or I'm sorry rather than a um, ATM we can put some other part on this side that could be useful I'll be right in the area there and then the last part obviously would be adding LCDs which the LCDs will probably mount here um, and uh, let's see LCD screen might as well just pre-position these at least so and then they'll be nice and easily accessible now if all go comes to plan here i want to make a new lcd for these that can also display um an easily editable uh thing to display the contents of a box besides its size um so that i think that would be kind of a neat thing one other thing you know you know what this is going to need in it and you know yeah this would make a lot of sense um it needs ammo boxes i forgot about that it needs ammo boxes so that would be probably a better thing to put here at least on one of them um i don't think it would need more than one ammo box so i mean just running eight like minigun turrets on here um not much and uh, you could have put in a lot of rounds and uh, i think these are what 14k oops wrong button yeah 14k so you could fit probably 10,000 rounds of uh 15 mil in one of those ammo boxes so yeah that's kind of a that'll work out pretty good it, everything's kind of right there we've got our access up to the uh the farm section we'll have to do the farm section separately um got to add in a uh, potential location for the repair bay and repair console down here so the repair console will probably get offset to over to this side probably in the center or right around the center area there's not really a center in this space it's kind of a, a two block center on this one um, and I think for the most part that's not bad let's uh, one last thing let's try to um, add a little bit more detail to the ceiling by uh, adding maybe some some things up here and I uh, <laughs> hate having some of those lights like offset the way they are but I need to light that that side up with these lights and maybe put some other lights on the other side so it's going to be kind of a weird lighting setup there a lot of the uh, creations that I do though they are kind of weird that way um, and maybe I can change the blocks over here so the lights don't stick out so bad now we got a little something. 
except for this rope up there too that you'll see a bit so yeah if you've seen some of the other bases i've done and things like that human origin creations i think this is fitting into the same scheme pretty good um the only other, last thing i was thinking about though and i really liked it i did one ship with it and i kind of liked it and maybe this would be a perfect candidate to do the same kind of lcd work with and that was uh, oh man what did i call it uh, oh, 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 oh oh no mind blank again no it was a combat ship it was decently sized and i can't think of the name of it Tribuche, that's it, Tribuche. Tribuche, where are you? Yes, this one. Okay, so... When I did it in this one, which is kind of unique from the other ones, is inside here, I did this kind of strip that goes across uh, for these various pieces. This one worked very good for putting in... Um, uh, like uh, contents of a storage crate and and stuff but maybe if I had a strip like this like general like this is production bay one or production bay two and then had individual LCDs for the other stuff as well that could be kind of neat and, um, and, and, and often I mean I LCDs are uh, primarily used for detail I mean sometimes directions and, and locations and things like that but a lot of times, you know, why I'm so insistent on putting LCDs over all these cargo extensions when you already know they're 320K and no one really cares. Um, it's just to add some detail to it, honestly, um, to put something there because it, it'll look a lot better with something there than nothing there. Um, but in this setup, especially, I got some extra blocks in the back. Maybe I could run some neat looking uh, LCD bars across the top of each one of these. Uh, and there's three of these setups, and they're all uniform. Um, and then have individual ones that go over, say, the uh, the actual controllers down here or above the controllers, either or. I think that would work out. Anyway, I'll stop there. And, uh, well, obviously more, more, more work's getting done. It takes a little bit of time to get all this. The interior stuff takes a really long time to do, um, typically, uh, at least for me. I, I, I try to make it look as pretty as I can figure out how to do normally unless I'm really in a bad mood <laughs> but uh, um, yeah I think this will work out I think this base hopefully does work out uh, once this area is all pretty and on the other side it'll kind of look like a, you know, a bit of a shopping mall again um, but I kind of like that setup everything's there it's uniform shouldn't get lost in this base I shouldn't even get lost in this base um, and then you're going to have your overlook to over this hangar bay from the, uh, the farm section with a little bit of outside glass going on here that I also cheapened up to. It's using uh, I had the armored glass in here, but that required sathium. And honestly, I really don't want this base to require sathium. So I think I got rid of the sathium use on it currently. Oh, well, there's still 50 there. Not sure what's... It might be some of these parts that I got in here, though deconstructors or something might be using that or the furnaces um and cpu wise uh what do we look like we look like that right now this will change i'll have to figure out what, what parts it's going to come stock with anyway i will stop this video here and uh continue on on, on another video and you all have yourself a great day i'll talk to you later